right away I'm thinking this person's very likely to not be saved. And you know what? You say, well, I'm offended by that. Okay, fine, be offended by that. That's what I believe because it's so anti-scriptural that it just tells me, well, how can that person have the Holy Spirit inside them? Wouldn't he be guiding them into all truth? There's a common misconception of an antinomian flavor that's prominent in American Christianity, which assumes that the only thing that's required to be truly Christian is to believe, to believe Jesus. I know lots of people who believe Jesus are going to hell, and so do you. Calvinism attacks the gospel. Okay, the gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the whole world and that he was buried and that he rose again and that that gift is freely available to all. That's the good news. And look, I'm not going to defend his Calvinist beliefs because I don't share his Calvinist beliefs. And I think it's cognitive dissonance to believe in both free will and, you know, that God predestined everything. But you know what? Just because he's wrong on that doesn't make him unsaved. And I'm going to stand by that. I know lots of people who believe Jesus are going to hell. And so do you. I will say this, I doubt the sal anybody who's a Calvinist, I just immediately doubt their salvation. Right away I'm thinking this person's very likely to not be saved.